let's take a look at anonymous classes. Aura, welcome back to the Java introduction here for Minecraft and Hightail modding. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at anonymous classes. Now, anonymous classes are sort of an, a weird thing. It's actually a very straightforward idea. However, you know, sometimes people are like, what is that exactly? And it's actually, like I said, fairly straightforward. So we still have the person class from last time. This is available in the description below, GitHub repository or individual gists. And what we can do is we can create like a subclass of that without creating a subclass. Now you might be like, what does that mean? Well, when we have a, you know, a person and then we might have a manager. This is just a simple example I have here where when you call the, let's say, get full name, instead of just getting this, you get manager and then the first and last name. So that could be something that you could do. So let's, for example, say we're going to have a new person here, which is going to be the manager, which is equal to a new person. First name, John, and then the um, and then last name is going to be Smith. And then let's say he's 42. And usually we can do this and everyone is fine. But now what we can do is we can put in curly brackets here and end this with a semicolon. And all of a sudden you can see that this also works. This is a anonymous an anonymous class, meaning that we can basically override things from in here. This means, for example, if I start typing in override, you can see I can override the things from the person class. So for example, get a full name. I can override this and then say something like return manager and then let's just say manager and then plus and then I can even say super dot get a full name. So with the super just in, like in a normal class where I would extends person, I can just do this all in line. Usually this is not too prevalent. This is not too uh, common to be used. This sometimes is uh, used for abstract classes because of course you can't make a new abstract class. You can instantiate a new object of an abstract class, but you can make an anonymous class out of that and then override the methods that need to be overridden. So if I, for example, would were to say here, system out print line manager dot get full name, then what's going to happen is that uh, let's actually also do the same thing for nano just so that we can see the difference here. So you will see that the first one is just nano attack and the second one is manager John Smith. So it has taken the overridden method right here and just went with it. So that's really cool. So that's the general idea of an anonymous class right here. Overall, nothing too crazy when we really think about this. However, this would actually already be it for the anonymous class. The next few tutorials are really just sort of a few basic concepts, just like brushing over a bunch of stuff so that you've at least seen this before, just so that you know what is being said. And then you can, well, fairly easily also just be like, okay, I heard that before. What is that exactly? Ah, yes. Okay. Anonymous class is when you override a class without making a new, like, a, a, like explicitly calling that class. This is why it's called an anonymous class because this class here doesn't have a name. So that's the idea. But that would be it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would very much appreciate a like. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. So, yeah.